Hello, Jack, and welcome to Sommelier This Week with Jack and Team, Episode 2. How's it going? Good, Tariq. It's, uh, you know, it's uh, Friday today, so uh, yeah. an exciting one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's sunshiny here. Is it sunshiny where you're at? Uh, we've had some rain over the last couple of days, still a little bit overcast, but uh, not too bad. Got it. Okay, well, listen, if it's not too bad, I hope it continues to get sunnier as you head into the weekend. And um, let's... Crossed. Yeah, fingers crossed. Let's go into the deep dive. Okay, so tell us uh, what uh, happened on the Sommelier Protocol this week. What's new? I think continuing we last to left work. off with test nets. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, so we're, we're continuing to work on that test net stuff. So, you know, I, I think that through this test net process, obviously the, the whole purpose of test nets is to find issues with your software, and we have found some issues, and we're patching those. So, uh, you know, the, those test nets did the work they needed to do, pushed us forward from a product perspective, uh, and helped us figure out where we need to do some more work. And, you know, one of the really nice things is that the areas where we have invested as far as in additional testing and stability on the Gravity Bridge side, um, that, that's where we're spending a lot of engineering effort these days. Those are the areas that kind of needed the most work um, that, that we've seen in the test nets. So um, Mantis, who has joined our team recently, is working on dockerizing the tests and making the test framework a lot more extensible for first the gravity bridge. And then we're just gonna port that work directly over to Sommelier um, to support our use case over there. So that's a huge piece of work that uh, he's wrapping up. And actually just after this call, he and I are gonna talk about next steps there and sort of how to build that into a more extensible testing framework which is yeah. uh, exciting. And I'm pretty pumped about that. You know, right. for me, pers for me personally, that's been a lot of the work that I've done at Cosmos over the years. And, you know, for these various protocols that I've worked, worked for and worked with has been building these testing environments and these developer environments. Uh, a lot of that in Docker, you know, I, I think my most starred GitHub repo for years was this all up in FluxDB uh, <laughs> testing environment where you can, you know, plug in a bunch of data sources and really quickly get a full, stack of yeah. this microservices architecture and you know what we're building with the validators is you know initially with cosmos a validator is just one machine that's signing and listening to the blockchain but you can break that validator that logical validator into a number of different nodes and then also as we add additional functionalities on the chain like with sommelier this ability to move funds back and forth from eth as well as the oracle and all of these pieces there's a series of microservices that need to be run there. So, um, you know, the work that we're doing on the testing framework is not only helping inform um, correctness of the system and, and where we need to put in additional work, but it's also helping us to inform how we're going to make deployments easier for validators and how we're going to package all of that stuff up. That's awesome. What about the gravity refactoring? What's that? Yeah. What's that like? Yeah. So, you know, there's uh, like, We've worked, we've sprinted really hard for a bunch of months to get to uh, a working bridge. And that's what we have now. You know, the, the Althea team has really spearheaded that effort. They, they did a lot of the tough R&D to, uh, to get the basic functionality working. And as a part of that sprint, and, and if you're an engineer, you know, when you sprint and you move quickly, you take on technical debt. Um, and, you know, we inherited the Althea team and the sommelier team inherited that gravity uh, repo from the Peggy project and that it had a number of maintainers. So there's actually uh, for a relatively young product, we do a uh, project, we do have quite a bit of technical debt built up there. And the refactor is to look at the design that's emerged to try to figure out how to properly abstract that and do a set of interfaces and then to make the internal structure match that. And this work will also make it more performant and more stable because now what we know, what are the features we need to support and what do they look like working? Then we're stepping back and saying, how do we make this stable and maintainable so that when we go to mainnet, people can run it easily and we're gonna have fewer issues uh, around the, the interactions with it. And, and that's basically the work that we're doing now. Awesome, congrats. What about Uniswap V3? Any news on that? <laughs> it's been a very exciting work of talking about Uniswap v3, um, a very exciting week of talking about Uniswap v3. You know, I think that the product that we initially envisioned is a Uniswap v2 product that supports a lot of different uh, Uniswap v2 like things such as pancake swap or, you know, flavor of the week swap. Um, and 
uh, or sushi swap, which is the second largest. Um, but V3 shows a different world. And, you know, one of the things that sommelier, well, the, the core thing that sommelier does is make life easier for liquidity providers. And what Uniswap V3 does, as opposed to Uniswap V2, is makes life a lot harder for liquidity providers and gives us a lot more room as a platform to make life easier for those folks. And that, that's why we're really excited about uh, Uniswap V3. We've, we've done quite a bit of reading of the contracts, looking at the system design, and, and trying to figure out how Sommelier will enable users to provide liquidity into Uniswap V3 with a similar experience to what you're getting in Uniswap V2, where you can say, hey, I have this big chunk, chunk of change. I want to provide liquidity, and I don't want to have to worry too much about it. And you know, with V3, that's really hard, and there's a lot of ways to get wrecked real easy. And uh, so trying to figure out how we can provide this clean experience to users is, is what we're talking about this week, and we're really excited about it. That's awesome. That's awesome. So Uniswap V3 is now on the Sommelier roadmap, huh? Yeah, definitely. And, and you know, uh, even if you go take a peek at the Sommelier repo, uh, Federico pushed a version of an NFT module that will support uh, those NFLPs over on Ooh. the Cosmos side. Very um, nice. Well, uh, the, the cool thing about that is Federico originally wrote that back in 2019 with uh, Billy Renkamp, who is uh, the, the, one of the ICF folks. Um, and they've been kind of maintaining that over the years. So all of this expertise that has existed within Cosmos around NFTs, we already have on our team and the team is just throwing it in. So um, there's a lot of cool pieces to dig into for everyone on the, uh, the Uniswap V3 thing. And, uh, you know, it's just reading through the white paper and reading through the system design stuff over this last week it's shocking to me how well what we've been building fits into building a system to provide us clean experience for liquidity providers on V3. It's just like awesome. hand in glove. And we're really excited about that. Congratulations. We are excited too. All right. Well, we look forward to seeing what's coming next week, the last week in Q1 and the last week of the month. And uh, the, the, I guess you got to have uh, first week of some Uniswap development ongoing. Super excited to see what's going coming. All yeah. Right. So next next week, what we're looking at is some uh, some more testnet news. Um, yep. More news on Uniswap v three. More news on testing frameworks um, nice. and overall architecture for v three. So that's that's what we'll be talking about next week. All right. Look forward to it. Thank you, Jack. Have a great weekend. Awesome. Thank you, Tariq. Right. Cheers. Bye.